and the next stop is the I-44 Antique Mall. Whoa, whoa, and more whoa. Oh my gosh. I love it here. <laughs> Look at Rudolph and this snack set. Oh man, I'm excited. What is that? Fabulous. Is that a postcard? I can't figure it out. The Copacabana, New York, $6.50. That's so neat. I love the graphic on that. Um, it seems like a little bit to pay for a postcard. Oh my gosh, Valentine's Day, stop everything. Cute little heart handkerchief, $9.50. Totally reasonable. Look at these cards. Oh, oh my gosh, the postman one, $9.50. All right, so they're a little hippier, but that's okay. I am sure i'm gonna enjoy this just the same plus i just walked in i love the little vintage barbie telephones oh my gosh wait there's so much stuff here <laughs> awesome this dog up here that's at 950 the white one and the little cupies oh wow so many miniatures one of my biggest weaknesses I love the little girl with their suitcase. Those are at retail. The hair breads. Oh my gosh, they're buttons. Oh, whoa. The, the, uh, they have the little, oh my gosh, I can't even talk straight. Charms. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here for a while. The cameos. So cool. I love that our daily bread. Birthday candles, I love the graphics on those. Again, those would melt in my car though. Lots of really pretty compacts. I will say, I can't wait to go back to yesteryear. They have the best compact prices there. Well, I already see a couple things in here. One is that little hair barrette. Let's see what else they have in here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I already went that way. Those earrings, so cute, $5. Butterfly brooches, oh. The bowling one's fun. That's a cool one too, the uh, instrument. Oh my gosh. Wait, look at these. All right, I need a key. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I wish I could get that one. That's too high for me. Some really epic poodle ones, blue sight earrings, flamingo. But I'm gonna grab the little cat. That's fun. And the deer. Oh, wow. The giraffe's fun, too. I already got distracted. I just realized there's so much more around me. Um, this one's at $3.95. I'll take that. I got this one. This one's at $9.50. Super good price. The mos um, mosquito thingy is cool. Baseball player, that's neat. That's only $5. I, I know baseball doesn't really sell well for me, but it's pretty different. Oh my gosh. Out of order though. Look at that. The little wristwatch. That rabbit pin is fabulous. Really interesting. The whale. Oh, little scatter pins. Well, you know I'm obsessed with the Nodder ashtray, but she's missing her fan, and she's already at 59. Some of these compacts, I'm kinda, oh, the little cream, 9.50. Oh, what? I know they're new, but they're so fun. Oh my gosh, the little vintage snowman earrings. Look at here. The flower brooches, $18.50 for the daisy cluster. Dang, that's a little close. Whoa. $45 for those glasses. Those are amazing. Look at that Santa. And I love all the little coin purses. Oh my gosh, so cute. The little candles. 
Look at this. The donkey. So cute. I love this stuffed lion. Wow. The telephone charms. Let's see. I don't see. Oh, phone keychains, thirty-six fifty. Okay. I was gonna say those are usually expensive. Fabulous little plush. Now over here. Wait, I can't tell what's going on with the prices here. I feel like I'm missing a number because some of these say black. Oh, I see that they're all different prices. <laughs> I was like, what? Might have to get in here. I can't really read the ones I want to read. And I love that celluloid Scotty dog pin. It's probably pet pricey. The duck, $9.50. All right, I'm backtracking. I'm gonna start going through cases. Cause I have all the time in the world. I have nowhere I need to be except for the kitsch caboose, which I'm probably gonna do out of my car. <laughs> oh, the seahorse. Um, I grabbed the little hair brett and the 3750, okay. And the, what else did I grab? The deer, I left the cats. The, you are a little underwhelming for the price. I got the tags mixed up. There's some really fun stuff in here. I'm trying to get as many case numbers as I can possible. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little lamb figurine. That's at $4.50. I might grab that. The problem is there's so much stuff. It's like, how can I see all of it? I guess you just have to look through first. She told me to tell her all the case numbers. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy, how fun. I love those bubble bath bottles. Spish. Yeah, there's just like way too much stuff in here. Um, this is really interesting to me. What is going on here? Huh. And I love that little girl figurine. Let's see. Oh, that pin cushion. It's kind of neat. Springfield, Missouri. Does that say what I think it does? Eight fifty. dollars eh, could probably make a couple bucks off that. I know I could probably make a couple bucks off that, but not enough to justify eight fifty dollars for something I'm not completely in love with. The clown. Oh my gosh. How fantastic. $9.50. He needs a home, I think. Whoa, look at this lipstick holder. That's fabulous. And the bowling ashtray. Yeah, he's pretty great. He has that damn troll quality about him. He's missing a little bit of his fur, but I think I could still make a few bucks off of him. Plus, these are really hard to find. This is really cool. Look at all the old bubble gums and bubble gum matches. So neat. Oh, look, there's one of the Eskimo pies. I got a bunch of those in uh, Texas. I should have bought more, honestly. All right, I honestly forgot what I was looking at. I took a second look at the bangles and a lot of them were just super close. So I decided to let it go. Um, look at that. Drink, cheer up. That's amazing. Whoa, look, it's one of these laxative. I got one of these in uh, California. That one's got liquid in it though. Look. I love that Heinz. That's a 25. It's so cool. I'm like really into stuff like that right now. I feel like my taste has evolved a little bit since I've been on the road. Love all the little dolls and such. All about retail though. Whoa, speaking of vintage Christmas, here it is. Doesn't come cheap out here either. Let's see what else they got. The little candles. Hmm. I've kind of lost interest for cases. It's gonna be a lot to get me to <laughs> open another one. The little Dream Pats Tiger. He's cute. 25 bucks. Interesting. Whoa, look at that clock. That's so fun. $98.50. These are insanely cool. Jackson 5 cereal trinkets. Neat. Yeah, I don't know if you can even see. There you go. So cool. Oh, 
Look at the funky skunk game. The lamp is cool, but the lampshade is what really got, got me. So many epic signs out here. Let's see. Next aisle. Whoa, check out this uh, Christmas apron. 25. Um, amazing poodle situation happening. Definitely on the pricier side, though. That knotter almost looks like Buster Brown. They've got some really cool stuff, but again, it's a little bit on the pricey side, and I can't ignore this anymore. Oh my gosh. Christmas and Halloween. All oh, the poodles. Oh, it's just all retail, unfortunately, for me. I mean, there's a couple little deals in there where you could get a good price if you're a collector. The angel bell is as is. The reindeer. Oh my gosh. Oh, to my tall, dark, handsome valentine. I love that. Speaking of love, the wax store display. Be still my heart. Whoa. $10 for the pair? Are you serious? These are definitely harder to find. I've never even seen them before. That's amazing. I love them. Psycho ceramics. Pricey psycho ceramics. Wow. I think I'm missing a digit in uh, a lot of these. Yeah. That's really amazing. I love the macabre stuff like that. Yeah, I think I am missing a digit. Oh, look at that. Buffalo scrotum. Whoa. That's so gorgeous. I've got some really unique stuff in here. So I guess the jewelry is 35% off. And it looks like that amazing celluloid cuff is $18 and the bake light are 13 each plus the discount. There is a lot of confusing signage happening here to my Valentine. All right, I think I'm gonna get in here. Confusing, but I'm gonna figure it out. Plus, I need to see how much the vintage Kotex is. That stuff's super collectible. I know you think it's weird, but I love it. So I grabbed all the Bakelite bracelets as well. They came to like $9 a pop or something, as well as the uh, really amazing celluloid one, $2.55. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's, no, it says 75. There's a lot of numbers going on at this place. I love the gloves, the polka dot gloves. Those are fantastic. $20, 20% off. Oh, got some interesting stuff up here. Wow, look at that Christmas lamp. I love that. It's in such good condition. It's at 165 though. And then here, I love the princess head vase. That looks like 55 though, and 20% off, which is definitely steep, for me at least. <laughs> Dude, talk about a swag lamp. Oh my gosh, look at the little bubblegum miniatures. 50 cents each, now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, they've got the little Kittles perfume bottles back there, but they're at 30, 33. Oh, they've got so much cute little stuff. Oh, and the little bellhop decanter. Oh, Bone trying to Smokey the Bear, how much is that? 12.50, and... Holding my breath. 40 bucks. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. I'm not even mad at it. Um, what else was I looking at? Oh my gosh, stop it right now. Look at how cute this is. I've never seen one with this graphic on it. 850. I kind of love that. It's got some damage, but it's so hard to leave it. down for now and keep looking through this booth the avon stinky pin and the mouse the 
this has got some fun stuff. Look at the little charms, the religious charms. Those are cool too. Epic clampers, this um, lucite fish. Yeah, some really good ones. If they were for myself, I wouldn't think twice. The prices are really reasonable. Well, I picked up a whole rack of uh, little bubblegum charms in there. Unfortunately, the vintage pad uh, didn't have a price on it. They tried to call, but no such luck. So I ended up spending $87 in there, but that includes three really nice Bakelite bangles and also that really fabulous rhinestone one. We've got some really good stuff. I have no idea where I'm headed next. I'm going towards Missouri. I will see you guys at my next stop.